Hello everybody, welcome back to the 40k lowdown and in today's video I thought I'd just do another uh, rambling video about something that happened yesterday that I and a lot of other people got very excited about and it was the release of the living legend One Man Army Sly Marbo or not the release of the announcement of Live like, Games Workshop because it got leaked earlier in the day then they put out a regimental standard uh, teasing it and then they officially announced it on Warhammer Community along with the, the other stuff that's coming out in December. Um, and I just thought I'd give a few thoughts on uh, my predictions for Sly Marbo and uh, how I feel about it. So obviously you can tell, I hope you can tell, I'm very excited about Sly Marbo coming. Um, I've always been a fan of the, uh, the memes that flow around the air. Uh, the Facebook groups and stuff. Um, I'm a fan of his law, just how badass he is. He is just, yeah, typical action hero. And I hope his rules are going to um, mirror that, because uh, obviously in the law he's done preposterous things. He's done, like, he, he's killed massive monsters and stuff like that. And that's where I think... Uh, Games Workshop sort of issue could be with the rules for him. Um, I think that's probably one of the reasons why they haven't had him in the game for quite a long time is because however powerful they make him, people will always say, oh, it's Sly Marbo, he's got to be more powerful. But I think the question that Games Workshop have to be asking, that Games Workshop have to be asking themselves is how powerful can he actually be? Because they obviously can't make him like as powerful as a, a Primark or like the, a space marine captain, because he is just a man. But then you've got to look at his law and the backstory, so uh, where he's ridiculously powerful. So I think Games Workshop is either going to have to go against the law and make him less powerful than he should be, or go with the law and make the game ridiculous by making him more powerful than space marines and stuff like that. Um, and another thing I hope to do with them is because obviously in his law he is a, a one-man army. Um, I hope that he is allowed in a detachment on his own. So, if, like you can have him on an, in an auxiliary detachment without losing command points. Um, and I think that would really match with his law because he works alone. He doesn't work alongside other Katachan regiments very often. Um, and that would definitely be beneficial for me because I play with Cadians and I really would like to have him um, just to paint but and to have as a thing. But if I could have him also and play with him, I think that would be pretty awesome being able to play with the living beam Sly Marbo on the table and have him run around and slice up some, some Xenos. Um, what my other thoughts? Um... So my other general thoughts about just the model, uh, I do like the model. Uh, I I think it, it could have been a bit better, but uh, it looks cool, it looks like an action hero. Um, what I would think I might have preferred is sort of more of a mix between the kit bash photo they released for uh, Shadow War, I think it was, when they released the rules for, for, him using it in that, for using him in that, and the what they've got. Um, I don't really know what it is about those two models that I want a mash of them, but it's what I want, I don't really know. It, so yeah, the, the model is good, I, I just like guard models in general. Um, I think it, it is a good update on like the Catachan uh, style, because obviously the Catachan and Cadian models, of all the guard models really, apart from like the Scions, are quite old now, they're getting, I think they were made in like 2000 or something. Um, obviously that's nothing on the Eldar who had their, some models, they're still using models from like the 1990s. But still yeah, the guard sculpts are getting quite old now and I think this Sly Marble model is a good sort of update for the Catachans who haven't had any updates for a long long time. Um, I think I saw that the price was £15, which is, it's, it's that's fair enough, it's a bit, but, bit more expensive than the other guard characters apart from Kel who's 15 as well. Um, but for the new sculpt, um, so like you're, you're paying like a ten or whatever for 
old guard metal sculpts and stuff like that and fine cast sculpts. Um, so for a plastic, I think fifteen pounds is fair enough. I think I'm not. I can't say for certainty in for certain that fifteen pounds was the price, but I think I saw that, and I would I'd quite happily pay that just to have Sly Marvel in my army on my painting table. Um, so I think that he's going to be released in the month of December. I think just before Christmas. So uh, you stock and fill a Marbo, that would be an idea. Um, but I think that's all I have to talk about. Um, let me know your thoughts on Sly Marbo. Will you be using him in his army? If you like this video, give it a like. If you didn't, let me know in the comments why. Uh, thank you very much for watching. Uh, goodbye.